think I was chosen for Project Go because um, I, I don't know, like, I'm just a character, like. Hey, what's going on everybody? Mr. Johnson here once again. Child and youth worker at CNM and Campion Secondary School. Uh, you guys are in for a treat. Uh, back at it again. You guys saw the first video, Boys to Men, uh, program right here at uh, CNM and Campion. We got a brand new group here. Uh, I've done a lot of stuff with the boys over the past nine years here at Campion. Uh, so I figure it's about time we do something else. This group is called Project Go. Now what Project Go is, G-O, stands for girls only. When you think about a project, it's something you work hard on, you really put some time and effort into it to have a really great final product. With the girls here, we look at them as a project, right? We wanna mold our young people into something exciting, something great, something you can be proud of. The Project Go is we take these girls and we do the exact same thing we do with the boys, nothing different. This is a group for anyone and everyone to claim responsibility for their own actions. All right, exactly like what Boys to Men does. We do the exact same thing. We go on field trips. We do a lot of exciting things here, guest speakers, and we want to see how this project was going to work. Now, for the next couple of minutes, you're gonna see real testimony from these young ladies to see exactly how they feel about this program, what they're going through in high school, so you get a little glimpse of what young women are facing in high school here in the Brampton area. So sit back, enjoy, and this is Project Go. My name is Roxanne, and I go to St. Edmund Campion. My name is Ashley, and I go to St. Edmund Campion. My name is Leisha, and I go to St. Edmund Campion. My name is Rihanna, and I go to St. Edmund Campion. My name is Tatiana and I go to St. Emmy Campion. Hi, my name is Naya and I go to St. Emmy Campion. My name is Tia and I go to St. Emmy Campion. My name is Mariah and I go to St. Emmy Campion. My name is Josara and I go to St. Emmy Campion. My name is Leticia and I go to St. Emmy Campion. My name is Shante and I go to St. Emmy Campion. My name is Asia and I go to St. Emmy Campion. My name is Kashai and I attend St. Emmy Campion. My name is Sherry Jane and I attend St. Emmy Campion. My name is Shante and I go to St. Emmy Campion. My name is Sarah and I go to St. Edmund Campion. My name is Offrey and I go to St. Edmund Campion. I think I was chosen for Project Go because um, I, I don't know, like, I'm just a character. Like, I'm very different depending on what situation you put me in and I'm basically like, my personality just like flows and it's fluid with the vibes of life. I think I was chosen to be a part of Project Go because um, 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 I don't even know why. At first I wasn't really sure why I was chosen for Project Go, but as the program progressed, I started to see that I kind of have like these leadership qualities that I don't even use and um, I'm kind of able to build more friendships because I don't really talk to that many people at school and I just feel like I was chosen to make myself a better person. I'm not really sure why I was chosen. Maybe because like, I have a love personality. I don't know. Um, I think I was chosen for Project, Project Go because I show leadership qualities and I have a big personality too so I guess I can affect the rest of the Green Nine girls. I think I was chosen for Project Go to build up my confidence because that's what it really did for me. I think I was chosen because of my personality. Um, I have leadership skills I was told that I just don't know how to use yet, but now I understand. 
I think that I was chosen for Project Go because I showcase a lot of leadership skills in everything I do, in school, um, home, church, anywhere I go. I think that I was chosen for Project Go because I'm a really real person. I just say what's on my mind, like I'm very blunt. And sometimes it can come across, come across as rude, but like I don't mean it to be like that. Um, I think I was chosen for Project Go because I was in a lot of problems and I think it was good for me to come here to like, you know, communicate with the other girls. I think I was chosen because my attitude is really bad. And I don't think before I say a lot of things, I need to work on that because I know I hurt people's feelings and it's by accident. So yeah. I think I was chosen for Project Go because I'm a leader. And I also think I was chosen for Project Go because, you know, I have a kind of a bad temper at times. You know, it's just helping get under control. I think I was chosen for Project Go because my brother was in it and he was a Boys to Men member. Um, two or three reasons. One reason I was told because um, there's a previous program for boys called Boys to Men, and my older brother was in that. And so I got chosen for that reason. Another reason is I think I'm one a good influence. Um, I'm a good friend, and like me being around people is like beneficial for them and me. Why I think I was chosen for this group is because I have a lot of attitude and when I talk I tend to like put my hands up and stuff and I feel like this group helped me a lot with my attitude and like, to just relax and settle down and yeah. Um, I just think I was chosen because I don't have a male figure in my life. Basically, I'm doing my cosmetology CPT. So the CPT, it basically includes, you have to make a style. And in the style, you have to have blow drying, teasing, braiding, and roller curls. And for my style, I did the blow drying and teasing right here. I put the braids going through, going to the back, and then the rest is gonna be the roller curls. I'm not done yet, but I'm getting there. Almost done. I think that the most difficult part of being a high school student is trying to like keep your focus on like your main goal of passing your classes and doing well in your classes with all the other distractions around you of like friends and relationships and conflicts and all that. Well for me it's like knowing when to do work or like when it's time for me to actually buckle down and do something or like getting my priorities straight. The most difficult thing for me is kind of like making the right decisions now to make sure that they don't impact me in a negative way in the future and kind of kind of living up to the standard of being like a proper high school student and basically making the right decisions. I think the biggest issue that high school, high school girls face is competition. They feel like they need to compete with each other to be like on top, the better girl, the prettiest, the, yes. the baddest, you know. Um, yeah, and also the competition between boys, like, that's my man, he's not your man, yeah. I think the biggest issue is pretty much self-esteem, especially, like, the youngest girls here. That's why they fight so much about, like, who's the baddest, who's, like, the best fighter, who everyone is scared of. Like, because of self-esteem issues, they try to bring everyone down. So, like, everyone's pretty much fighting to be the biggest and the baddest, which, is, like, girls need to understand that. Everyone's pretty, everyone's worth something, you don't need to fight to prove that like you're better. And there's no competition. Yeah. The biggest issue high school girls go through is like probably one has to do with guys because like guys confuse girls, they confuse us a lot and it ends up in problem. And another thing is us girls we take things the wrong way sometimes. Like say I'm talking to you now, I'm not having attitude, you might think what I'm saying is disrespectful and you're not hearing it the right way so therefore you get mad and that creates a problem. Like everybody feels like they have to like be better than another person. I just know it says like a mentality that like you have to be like like, a, like so dime and all this type of stuff right and it's like not necessarily true like you just have to like be yourself and just be you like you know because like 
why you want people to like know a fake you? Like, why wouldn't you want people to know like you for how you are? Because like you probably so because some people might not like your personality, but some people might love your personality. Do you? you know what I'm saying? The biggest issue I feel like that us girls that in high school face is like having to please people and like just and having to like communicate with people without there being a problem. The biggest issue um, girls face, I think, that girls face in high school is that. They try to like um, try to please people like boys or something. They try to be some some of they're not and stuff like that. I think the biggest issue girls have in high school is insecurity. Um, they come in thinking that they have to be at a certain level when they don't. They should just be themselves. People talking about them and them thinking that they have to respond to that because of all the um, influences and people always trying to push them to do something they don't want to do. Now, of course, just like with the boys, we got the same kind of rules, same form. All we're asking is you go to class on time, positive attitude, and you'll see what exciting things can happen from that. Also, attend all scheduled meetings. Very, very simple. Participate. Get involved. No put downs. Don't make it fun of others. All right? Uh, with this project, if you follow these simple rules, things are going to go your way. Everybody. Like, when people don't listen, when they talk too much, or when they come when they're not called, or when they touch me, like, everything. Everybody. Everything. Everybody. People who chew and not open. Disrespectful people. People don't know how to be put in their place. When I put you in their place, you try to come out. Like, no. Like, <laughs> let's just leave it at that. What makes me angry is when people talk with food in their mouth, and when people start unnecessary problems. Uh, something that gets me mad is like when people do what's not like necessary. Like say we're in like a quiet space right now, then somebody just comes in and starts yelling and out of nowhere. Like I just don't like when people do the most for no reason. Not much really makes me angry except when people just like come and just try to distress things for no reason. Like if you see people are like relaxed and cooling or whatever, you don't come and just try and make drama or try and make problems for the fun of it. Like that's why. I feel like when people test people and they know what they're doing, oh, that really makes me angry. And like sometimes my my mom too, she makes me angry. Negative people make me angry. <laughs> I feel like if you're gonna be negative, just don't even come around me because I have a very positive mindset. I'm trying to get somewhere. I don't need you throwing your one, two, and three cents in there because I already have my five cents. I have a long list. People that talk for me, <laughs> people that ask me why I'm mad. Just a lot of things make me mad, but I'm very calm and collected. People who try so hard to be something that they're not when they know that's not what they need to be. Other people make me angry, uh, like just the way they act. If they know they're not supposed to do this, but they still do it. Or if you're a guy that's disrespectful towards females in general. What makes me angry is, number one, the way the boys in the school treat the girls. Like how they're disrespectful and treat us like we're just not trophies, but like objects. Not even trophies. Just yeah, objects. Just like that's mine. Or yeah, and how the girls um, also treat the girls. You know, just spreading rumors about them, talking about them, gets me mad because like we can all just be friends. Okay, not all friends, but yeah, like, but like, like we can not like, be good with argue with each other. The way guys treat girls too, because like. Guys, the way, if you ever listen to the way guys talk about girls, it's like, they're not people. Like, they just talk about them like they're walking sexual things that they just use. And it's like, yeah, I get that a lot of girls, they, like, give themselves to guys. But at the same time, you have to have, like, some sort of respect for them, even if they don't have respect for themselves. Like, they're people. And then the thing is, guys just fight and they're over with it and they, like make up like when guys fight one week later they're friends but when girls fight like it's beef for like years and it's like forever forever and it's like guys just fight and they're over it and girls just have to make it more than it actually needs to be my favorite part of project go was going to escape room um i worked with a lot of people i haven't worked with before and i got comfortable with some of the girls in the group what I really enjoyed about it is working together with people that I didn't really talk to at first and just knowing how they work and their leadership skills and how to come together and basically, you know, achieve our goal by finishing it. And yeah. 
My favorite part of Project Go was meeting the guest speaker, Elizabeth. Um, I feel like at that moment, like when she came, everybody could have related to her in, in some type of way. And I feel like everybody got together, but we weren't saying anything, but you could tell like around everybody's faces, you could tell that everybody was like agreeing with her and connecting with her and everybody was connecting with each other. So if I knew about this, about a lot of the mistakes and choices and pain that I was gonna get myself into at your age, my God, man, I would have made some different choices. If you ever have to argue with a girl about a man, I do not care who he is, how long you've known him, how much you like him. Honey, he is not your man, period. Like, even if a girl comes in your face and says, oh, well, I liked him, or he can have a girl, honey, you can have him. Because, no, no, don't ever argue or fight her of any girl over a man. It was like a real eye-opener for me to see, like, what she went through, and I can relate, like, I could relate to what I'm going through. Yeah. Um, how, what her upbringing was, and how we can get through different situations, how we don't have to use with anger. I think that if you just keep your head down, just just focus on yourself, like focus on what you have to do. Don't try and fit in to like and fit in with crowds. Like just focus on what you came to do and by like being surrounded by people that uplift you and you know that they love you and they help you overcome different challenges you have at school. I think to overcome the situations, you need to not get yourself into those situations in the first place because that can just lead to big problems. You need to not be the instigator and like instigate like fights and be like you should be with the person to like break it up or walk away or to go get somebody and not to like make it a big thing. Be true to yourself and you can be true to others and that way you won't get yourself into situations. I wanted Project Go to be for longer, like it was too short because like there's so much progress made in like such a short time and like I want it to like expand and more people. Yeah. I hope to see that we keep doing this like every year because I feel like it helps helps the girls to work together. Like some girls don't like to talk to other girls but in this group it's like you have to talk like I would like to see the Project Go group um, prosper for future years because it's really helped um, me and my friends come together um, and learn how to deal with different situations. Um, I would like to see the group expand with more girls in it and more guest speakers because even though we may not say what we're going through, we kind of are able to relate, especially with the guest speakers. Even if we don't necessarily feel like we have to say it out loud, we know within ourselves what we're going through and it kind of makes you feel more comfortable. I think this is a group that can actually reach other schools like further and further besides just say Edmund Canyon or Brampton in general. Like, I feel like it can make it far. I enjoyed Project Go and why I enjoyed it is because it taught me a lot of things like how to contain myself with girls also like again my attitude and just being a better person and so, like it's not about being the baddest or the coolest just being yourself and knowing where you stand and not having to be something that you're not for a guy or girl or for a group of girls and like hanging out with them. And, yeah. I enjoyed the group because I got to socialize with people that I didn't really like talk to or like like so <laughs> like relationships kind of got built a little bit. The girls in the group around the hall, like I've never really had a reason to speak to them. And like really, get, being in this group is different from like just saying hi to someone, you get to know them on a level that you would never, even if you were in the same class as them. I don't know, it was just like fun. It was kind of like a getaway from all my classes and just like a little escape in the week. And it really brought all of us closer together. And I recommend it because it's easier 
for other people to make friends if they don't really know people. I would recommend Project Go for camping because it helped the grade tens girls this year get over some problems that we had that we were more comfortable with each other and I think the grade nines need it because they do get into a lot of problems. I feel like Project Go really unites us girls at first like people wouldn't talk to certain people because they might think that that person is something or whatever but as soon as we came to Project Go you can see the person, you can see how the person acts and you're around them more and then you get to know them and you guys could um, gain a friendship. I enjoyed Project Go because um, even like even if I had like a problem with one of the girls, coming to Project Go allowed me to be like, you know, just let it all go. And we all, you know, bonded. We all found different things that we had in common, so. I like Project Go because I feel comfortable with everybody in the room. I can relate to them. I really enjoyed Project Go because I got to get along with girls that I do talk to, but like got more closer to. And I feel like we experienced things that we never did, like, the trips that we went on and I felt like we spent more time together and bonded a lot. Falling on your knees, at first I wasn't really sure why I chose at first I was <laughs> at... wait, 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 at first, I wasn't really sure why I was chosen for Project Go, but as a... <laughs> Guys, uh, stop! Okay, okay, okay. You should put this as a blooper. <laughs> Hi, my name is... I told you, I told you, Tia. Oh, wait, sorry, sorry, okay. Hi, my name is Tia, and I go... Hi, my name is Tia, <laughs> My name is Tia. Oh my, my god. Gosh. My name is Tia, and I go to Tia. <laughs> Everything was no, perfect until we had to laugh. No, because, hold on, let me just come back. <laughs> I have some pop-ups on my knee, like, just get over with. <laughs> my name's Tia, and I'm going to say N. <laughs> <laughs> so, I feel like Project Go is a good way to get girls out of their, you know, comfort zone and just show them that you don't have to be, it's like, you know, it's, you just come do what you need to do. <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. It's my turn. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> okay, you're done. Okay, okay. <laughs> because you know, we should be founded. We should be what's up, what's up? sponsored. We should be sponsored <laughs> by like Nike and stuff. <laughs> you know, we get some name brand Nike shirts, you know, with the Project if we Go. Had, if we had shirts with Project Go in it and then our name on the <laughs> Yo, Nike, hit us up. Adidas, <laughs> yo, either or, you know?